Flying Fox Fruits. This video right here is about all the oddball species. You know I mess with uh, Porteria, Anona, Garcinia, Eugenia, Myrcearia, Plinia. I'm probably forgetting one, but those are that's basically what I mess with. These are the oddball species and uh, families that I mess with. Got an ant on my foot. Look at this over here. This is a, I believe it's a mabolo. It's related to a uh, persimmon. It's called a velvet apple. And there's many different varieties of this. Some are better than others. I don't know how this one is or what it's like, but there's some that are kind of like a reddish color, some that are an orange color, some that are smooth, some that are stringy. I ate some at Adolph Grimmel's estate in the Keys. It was delicious, man. So smooth and so nice. But then I had one at Fruit and Spice Park that was like stringy and like funky. So it's called a velvet apple, Mabolo. Look at the leaves, look at the underside. Like, this thing's gorgeous. Nothing ever has phased this thing and I never water it or nothing. It grows slow as heck. Come on over here. We're going down through all the oddball stuff that I planted out here just for fun. Experimentation to see for fruit maybe or whatever, you know. Look, that's an elderberry. This one came from uh, Just Fruits and Exotics out of Crawfordville, Florida. And it was supposed to be a variety. I, I think it was a variety, but um, it does well. I never did nothing for it besides let the weeds grow. And I planted it nice and deep. Look at that. And look, it's got fruit on it. Watch me, I'm gonna eat it. I think I'm gonna get sick for it. Slightly bitter, but it's not bad. There's another one over there. Okay, let's creep through here and see if we can show them our pawpaw. I grew, it's growing by chance. Let's go in here. Get in here somewhere, Chris. Yeah, there it is. Careful, it's wet, it's mucky. Look, it's a pawpaw. This is uh, a simon of I think parvaflora or something like that. I always get it wrong. Parvifolia or parvaflora. I think it's parva. Parvifolia. I can't remember. Parvaflora or parvifolia. I always get that wrong. I'm gonna go with parvaflora. Look at where it's growing. It's so wet. And the fruit that those make is really never that good. That, that I think is a seedling that I threw out here, and I can't believe it grew. But I grow that just for fun, you know? It's not really because I think it's gonna taste good. But I've tasted them before, they're all right. Catley guava, yellow. <laughs> Let's bring them back to this Gruvia. It's a relative of the chocolate, but it does look like a mulberry. I actually like these little turds. They're kind of, they're kind of like astringent and like a little apple. Chickens eat them. I'm, I like these. You can make a wine out of them, throw them right in a smoothie. Has an edible seed. Tough as nails. Got pretty yellow flowers if you can find them. If you want to pick some, you can too. You keep cutting it back like a fig, though. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Keep cutting it back. It's kind of fun to eat. They're, they're, they're delicious, actually. There's just not a lot to them. And when you, they get kind of dry and mealy when they're fully ripe, but I kind of like them that way. See? Get up in the hand there. Chris. Different textures. She just right here. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Gruria asiatica falsa. It's not bad. All right. This is a jackfruit relative. Look at this guy. Oh, he dipped up. This is a jackfruit relative, uh, Artocarpus lacucha. It's been flowering. Oh, here's a flower right here. Flower. Male flower. Male flowers, Artocarpus lacucha. Supposed to be a sour, sweet fruit, you know, more sour than sweet, but like a little mini jackfruit. Like a quai muck, but more sour is what I've heard. Hmm. We'll see. It's got flowers on it. I'd love to taste it. It died back to the ground one year. There's quai muck. Artocarpus hetero something, I forget the name. But it's Artocarpus as well. Re related very closely to the Artocarpus lacucha. Yeah. Climb up. Oh look, this is that uh, Barbados cherry, the Acerola. This is Echo Sweet. It's going off. This is one of my favorites. Oh, mmm, mmm. I gotta tear these up. 
Mm. How far apart were these all planted from one another? When, when, uh, when? Each of the ones we just looked at. How far apart? Oh, anywhere between 10, 8 feet, 6 feet. Just depends on what I was feeling that day. You can crowd them out because I'm pushing the limits. This is one of my favorites. Look at all the green fruit. Oh, there's plenty of green fruit. Look at all the green fruit hanging. Those are delicious. Now, this tree right here, Chris, is Parkia, P A R K I A, by Globosa, B I G L O B O S A. African tree. It's called like an African honey locust or something like that. It makes a pod where you can eat the seeds and you can eat the flesh. They make these cakes out of the seeds when they toast it. Beautiful red puffball flower hangs down, like crazy, like a pom pom red. This, like a mimosa flower, maybe? Yeah, this tree's so pretty. Yeah, it's related. <laughs> it's related. Look at the bottom. It died back to a stump. Like, we got to 25 degrees, and it died to the ground, and it came back. Like, now it's like a freaking, a giant stump. Isn't that cool? That's crazy. I like this tree. It's so strong, and, it, and it's supposed to be a nitrogen fixer. It's got all these funky, like, glands on it for the, for the, the bugs. The ants like to eat it, you know? Like, they suck off the nectar. Anyway, but look at the bark. Look at the knots. Like, see how it's, like, all knotted up? It's kind of cool. And then at the bottom of the petiole, there's, like, a gland. See right there? See where my finger? It's kind of hard to see, but, yeah. Anyway. Interesting tree. Bulbous little. African tree. Strong. I like it because it's feathery and it lets light in. You can plant other trees underneath it, but, yeah, look at the... Looks like a tamarind kind of, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. You stand back and show the whole thing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Come over this way. I want to show you this tree, Chris. This is flowering. This is the um, Dovialis hybrid. Tropical apricot. Look at the flowers. These are taking forever to finally ripen. I guess it was waiting on the rain or something. Let's see if I can get my hand behind it there. Is it going to work? Come on now. There we go. Let's hold it there, yeah. So this is a so many. supposed to be a sterile hybrid of two different Dovialis. So when it doesn't, you can't plant seeds from it. It has these little aborted seeds in it. You just eat the whole fruit. It tastes like an apricot, but kind of bitter and sour, but it's good. I really like them. I eat them when they're still really sour, when they're orange, but you can let them turn purple and it gets a little sweeter, but I like them when they're like destructively sour. So it's for the sour lover? You put a little sugar on it though and it's amazing. You could make a pie out of it. Look at the devils. Look at them all. I think this is the furthest I've ever seen them. They're out. Let's go creep on them. Well, let's feed them these berries. What? They did find them. They got good eyes. They're eating those berries. They're going to be hard to stop, dude. Look at They figured it out. They're going to. They're like raptors. They figured out this tree now and they're bugging out. Anyway, look at he's eating. He ate it. That's Mike. Oh, well, they're jetting. Whoa, they're pretty fast. They're going out to the Jabo Grove. It's over. No one's getting angry. Mm. Oh, no. I almost want to go over there and see what they're doing. They're wrecking the Jabo Grove. There's actually fruit out there I should have taken. So those are the Dovialis hybrids. Really strong trees, man. They can take drought. They can take flood. They can take heat. This is chi. Mandarin melonberry. It's grafted onto, I think it's grafted on Osage orange. I don't know that for sure though. They might be. But this is a Maclura. I forget it's like Maclura tricuspidata. I forget the name, but it's called Chi, C H E, or Mandarin melonberry. These are supposed to be self fruitful females that I bought as grafted trees. They've set fruit, but they've never made anything worth eating. They've always like set, ripen, and then they fall off before filling out so maybe in due time but this is a very strong tree i never really do anything for it i probably need to fertilize it but look look at that thing it's pretty short is it slow growing dude no. okay there's another one cheap mandarin melon berry i got a couple of them planted out ah thorn got me ah. i got another one planted right ah. right there it's in the weeds yeah Oh, and then this is the last thing, Chris. I think we're gonna we're gonna dumb it down. There's two more plants. This is marula, marula, 
And they use that for uh, an alcoholic drink. They make it, it's from Africa. You can eat the seed, and I heard you can eat the fruit. I don't know what it's related to. I think distantly to a mango. I could be wrong about that, but I think it may be distantly related to a mango. But I always wanted to say it's like, looks like a spondeus, like the uh, hog plum, but it's not. It's not, I don't believe it's in that family. It's in its own family. But this is two of them. They're very strong and they did die back one year. See, it died back to that stump in a freeze. But these take a flood, they take a drought, they take a freeze. Marula from Africa. Make an alcoholic drink out of it. The drink's delicious. Amarula. Oh, yeah. Patanga tubas. And then look, black sapote. Oh, actually, let's show them this over here. We'll get to the black sapote. I'm all over the place, Chris. This is the one that's called Aeliagnus latifolia or Shangri-La or something like that. It's like a, a red berry that's got silver spots on it. And it tastes like strawberry jam tart and sweet and like guava paste texture it's really good mm. like i was eating them one day i was like why is this not more popular it's good this is a grafted tree you can do them from cuttings but i grafted it onto its close relative called the lingaroo Aeliagnus philippinensis it's got thorns ow anyway there's the graft it's got thorns on it look at these feet real quick look at the ant bites isn't that disgusting <laughs> i kind of rather enjoy it at least it's a little bit of something to pop at night yeah Pop, that ant bite, pop, pop, that ant bite. This is a pretty tree though. That's Aeliagnus latifolia. It's been flowering, but it hasn't fruited yet. It doesn't like a flood, but I think being grafted on that rootstock may help it. I can't believe what it's made it through. Maybe it would do better on its own roots. I don't know, but it's grafted all right. That many, thing's been through everything. How many times have you been asked if it's coffee? Oh yeah, a couple times, you're right. That's true, that's true. All right, and then let's end it over here with, uh, oh, let's take him to the Inga. Inga's a little bit oddball. Inga. Now, this is the Inga Vera, Inga banana, which is not the true ice cream bean. This one is much more cold tolerant. I got it down by the river. I keep cutting it back. I shouldn't have planted it where I did, probably, but I planted it here anyway. I'm going to keep cutting it back. It, it may or may not flower. Huge tree. Stupid place to plant it. But here we go. I had to do what I had to do. I'm going to keep cutting it back and just, it's, it, it'll wick up the moisture. I don't really, the fruit's okay. I would eat it if it did flower in fruit, but Inga Vera. Cool tree. Oh, look at this. Someone's helping out with a little temporary structure here, like a shade house. I like how he's doing that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful workmanship. Now this over here is a black sapote. I really like black sapotes. And I'm surprised they've handled being planted here a lot better than white sapote. These take the flood where the white sapote, these are much stronger. Another black sapote. That one was called like a goose egg variety from Australia. I think this is another one of them goose egg types. This one's like the giant flying saucer, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I think they come male, female or something, or they start to make male flowers at first and then get female flowers, but some of these, I think, make male flowers only, and you ain't gonna get fruit all the time if you plant a seedling. Let me warn you. These have not, they've flowered, but haven't fruited yet. I'm, I, so you do need multiple counterparts? Or a grafted tree, because I have a grafted tree from Toppy that, that fruits all fine. But th this one flowered and made only males. So I'm hoping it snaps out of it and makes female, but I think it may be dioecious. Mm. See, on these oddballs, I don't know. I don't know a lot about them. I just grow them. And then there's one more we can end it with. Junkaflora looks like Junkaflora. <laughs> this one's called Porcelia macrocarpa, or monkey banana from Brazil. It's a relative of the pawpaw, and it's hard. it hates the flood. That's why it looks like junk. But smell the leaf on that. It makes a little fruit with scant pulp. It looks like a pawpaw. It's supposed to be sweet, tasty. The leaves smell crazy when you crush them, don't they? Mm. Pungent, like, oh my goodness. Like, like burnt hair, popcorn, and something. Anyway, what's it smell like to you? I know what it smells like, I could tell you. You meant, okay. Celery with a tinge of, I don't know why, but fingernail polish or? I'm gonna tell you what it smells like exactly. Do you remember that stuff as a kid you get? It was a magic trick, you take your fingers and, and go like this and smoke would come up? Yeah. 
Wow. It smells like that nasty stuff. The way that stuff smelled. That was like some kind of tree resin, I guess. All right, guys. Porcelia macrocarpa. My friend's got a really big, beautiful tree that he's growing in Orlando that he planted that's like 30 feet tall and flowering. I'd like to go check on it. Mine, it's just, I can't believe this is alive. I never do anything for it. But anyway, it almost died and I, re I replanted it. These are just some oddball species where I planted them out here just to see what they do. If I get fruit on them, it'll be amazing. I mean, I'll be happy. I'd be amazed. Like the marula, the parkia by globosa, some of them. But some of them, I mean, heck, they're easy to fruit. Dovialis is easy to fruit. But the, now the Kwai Muk will be interesting. That should fruit. And the Artocarpus lacucha will be interesting to see if that fruits. And it should. Keep planting crazy stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.